Welcome Crusader Nation, this is Caitlin Bross and Jordan Hardy here with this week's edition of Crusader Nation News. It's a busy day here at St. Dominic. First, we'd like to send our prayers to those on Kairos as we welcome them home tonight. And you juniors and seniors who are in the building today, don't forget that it's the last day to buy prom tickets, so make sure you get those. While those two activities are wrapping up, we have a new campaign starting today. The online free tuition raffle is here again. The winner gets free tuition for a year, and all additional proceeds go towards the St. Dominic Tuition Assistance Fund. With only 300 tickets up for grabs, you'll want to get yours as soon as possible. For a chance to win free tuition, you can buy them through May 12th by clicking on the link in the description box. More information can be found at stdominichs.org. Money for tuition doesn't grow on trees, but as today, we celebrate Arbor Day. It is celebrated nationally on the last Friday of April, and it is a day where we thank our trees for all their hard work and oxygen. That's right, Jordan. Arbor Day is similar to Earth Day, but it is completely dedicated to trees and the roles they play in our lives. Besides trying to conserve paper and avoid pollution, to observe this tree-rific day, the National Arbor Day Foundation will send you 10 trees to plant for only $10. You can pick out what type of trees you want to plant and even send them to someone as a gift. It's a perfect way to celebrate Arbor Day and show the Earth some love. We'll certainly be showing the Earth some love this Arbor Day, but we can't forget to show our sports teams some love too. This week, Varsity Soccer hosts their soccer shootout tournament. So far, they've knocked off Parkway Central 10 to nothing on Monday and clinched a 2-0 victory over Rockbridge Tuesday. With two shutouts tallied by goalkeeper Kaylee Imming, the girls are set to take on Fort Dumont West at home tonight to finish this week of shootout competition. Also earlier this week, men's tennis hosted their senior night, sweeping Lutheran St. Charles 9-0. Seniors Tyler Johnson, Jack O'Connor, Jake Jones, and Max Mollering all played very well on their day. Also, we want to give a special shout out to Annika Meyer, who has been the scorekeeper for tennis the past four years. The boys' season is not finished because they still have matches Monday through Thursday next week. Also next week, the 2017-2018 Student Council candidates will give their campaign speeches on Monday and Tuesday. The entire student body and senior class speeches will be on Monday, and the junior and sophomore class will follow on Tuesday. While these students prepare for the elections, our performing arts kids are hitting the stage. In March, students performed at the District Music Festival. Those who received a rating of exemplary move on to the State Festival this Saturday at Mizzou. We want to wish good luck to Sophie Kluba, Grace Fink, Brianna Coke Adwell, and Maria Clayson in their vocal competition. Also, band students Wyatt Forehan, Bryn Forehan, Tyler Johnson, and Eve Heavner will be performing. Congrats to all of them for their hard work and dedication to the arts. As we wrap up this week, don't forget that we have the Living Rosary next Wednesday and a full day of school on Thursday. Finally, this is Caitlin Ross and Jordan Hardy signing off.